Griffiths takes four as Durham are forced to follow on. Durham's early season struggles continued yesterday as Leicestershire's fast bowlers induced a top order collapse. The home side trailed by 298 runs with three wickets remaining in the innings, Clark and Rimmington resuming play on day three. Aaron was the bowler with the breakthrough in the morning. He managed to cut Rimmington's day short when he trapped him LBW for 23. McCarthy then stepped up and scored a couple of boundaries, but his aggressive batting soon led to his dismissal, Eckersley catching him off Dexter's bowling for 14. Rushworth was the final man in, but couldn't do much as Clark was bowled by Griffiths, the last man to go for 64. Durham all out for 184, still trailing Leicestershire by 256. As expected, Leicestershire forced the follow-on. Durham facing a massive job to save the game at this stage. Steele and Macram returned and batted efficiently for the opening wicket. They added significant runs without loss and the pair took the teams to lunch with the score 36 for naught. Batting continued to seem easy in the second innings for Durham in the afternoon. Markram soon reaching his 75 ball half century. The pair also took the score past 100 and they reached T with 140 on the board and still no wickets down. Durham trailed Leicestershire by 116 runs at this stage and with 10 wickets in hand they didn't look in such a bad position as they had done earlier in the day. As long as they could continue their good form from the afternoon they stood a chance of turning the match around. But it was bad news when the evening session got underway as they lost Markram LBW in the early stages, Parkinson the bowler, the batsman falling six runs shy of his century. Steele, however, continued to push on and he brought up his half century with a four off Aaron. Newman Smith also contributed well and the pair pushed things along nicely. They put on 81 runs before the close as Leicestershire's attack struggled to cause the batsmen the problems they had done on the second evening and much of the morning of the third day. Durham closed on 233 for one, Steele unbeaten on 79, Smith on 43. The home side trailed by 23 runs heading into the final day, but importantly with nine wickets still remaining, a great effort after being forced to follow on. However, quick wickets in the morning could undo all that hard work, so Durham will know they have much to do on day four as the game still leans in Leicestershire's favour.